leg. Oh yeah. His leg. Oh. oh. His leg would. Oh, yeah. hmm. His leg would heal in time, the doctor said, and perhaps in a year or so, the brace would come off. But they were not at all certain about his hand. From time to time, his injured ha hand, which he still wore in a sling, would begin to hurt. Okay. The doctor um, said. Hmm. They the could. The doctor said they could find no cause for, for the, pain. the pain. Right. One morning. Okay. Using... Stop. 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 Hold on, because I really need to scroll down for this other idea to start and end. Okay. So, Medavi, what happened in this? What did he imagine? When How did he imagine like him? Like this. this. I can ah. imagine probably because my brother, who had jumped from a swing, uh -huh. had both the hands fractured like this. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, it was in the sling. Oh, sling is nothing but a bag, which is there for the fracture. You put it around the neck. Is where the hand rests. Yeah? Right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, what was the problem? The problem was not in the leg, but but hand. Hand. Yes. So in a in a year or so, the brace would come off. You know what is a brace? Embrace yourself. Okay. They show it in movies that they are in rough sea. I know the brace. So you uh, are in the teeth. Brace in yourself. Teeth. Embrace means actually. Hold tight or hug somebody. And brace means hold tight. Stand tall. Hold tight. There's something which is approaching, which is going to damage or hurt you. Okay? So you have braces for your teeth. You know that? Dental braces. Any of your friends have? They hold the teeth in place. Right? So they are saying, I'm going to get Is it? Okay. So you are going to wear braces. That's what your teeth will be in different position for a certain time. Right? Or it will turn into a different position. I don't know. So mm -hmm. the brace would come off. This mate had that mm -hmm. brace. Mm -hmm. And yesterday or day before yesterday, it was removed. And mm -hmm. not, lots of this, what you say, rotten food was there inside of him. Oh, God. And oh because God. of the braces, his teeth had uh, turned into dark yellow color. Oh, God. That's sad. Dental issues. Keep yourself away from dental issues. Okay, so now you know oh, braces. Yes. Yeah, braces means to hold something together. So maybe her, his leg, not her leg. This is a boy, right? The leg, the braces from the leg would probably come off, but his hand would not heal, and it was still in the sling, right? Can you imagine him? One leg hurt, one hand hurt, and he was probably. <laughs> Sitting at one place, not running here and there like Medavi. Okay. Eh? No, what? No. So how easily Medavi can move, right? From sofa to catch hold of the remote. Right? So that easily he is he probably can't. Now he's in the bed. But the doctors could not really find any pain. Sorry, cause for the pain. Oh. Right? Something was hurting him, but they really couldn't find. So now can we read after? That oh. one morning, one morning during Mr. Morgan's geography class, Zebra's hand began to hurt badly. He, he sat staring out the window at the sky. Mr. Morgan, a sniff married person in his early 50s, given to smart suits and dappers, dapper bow tie called on him to respond to a question. Zebra stumbled about a, about in vain for the answer. Mr. Morgan told him to pay attention to the geography inside the classroom. Not geography out, not to the geography aside. <laughs> yes. Right. So what did he what did you guys imagine? How is Mr. Morgan? Sniff mannered. Sniff mannered. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You know those, bro. You know all these professors which are shown in movies. Mm-hmm. Yes, Meda, we sit down. Do not talk to each other. Stiff mannered. What is his then, age? In our school, when sir is there, mm-hmm. sir is absent, so he is there. He mm-hmm. says, "Stand up. You don't know. You don't have to talk. Sit down." <laughs> But only he knows how to talk. And mm. then no one will do any work. In the same tone, no one yeah. will do any work. Uh, I will. You will do only the drawing which I give you. Your mind, your drawing book is complete. Next, mm-hmm. after your drawing teacher will come give her for checking. Like what we learn, the same way he learns English. Yeah. So it's monotonous, stiff mannered. So these people are generally disciplined. Another way to say is yes. discipline. I mean that uh, the CA which came early on Sony Live, like Jija Ji Shatpur, hey, that boy had bangs like this, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He has bangs. Which, like which one? <laughs> which boy? Explain, Medavi. No, 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 no. Which CA? Ah. Ah. Out of which story are you telling her? Sanvi is confused. <laughs> I think I know that. Once Jija was there. Also, really. Did I am what you told? Real? Oh uh, yeah. Jija is a super hair. Oh yeah, I did watch that. Oh uh, babe. I did watch. I saw the character. Like his hair were like this, which looked okay. very funny. Now how Meda is using her hands to show like this, like this. That's for the. I did in words. Yeah, right. Sammy got my Curve. point. Good. Mm, right. So dance band. Yeah, this so is where dance. our words lag because we already are in a zone where we talk in one on one with people. We are rarely write, and hence I tell you that write because when you write, you can't do this, this, like this, like this. I know the sign words. Hmm. When were you? What is Mr. Morgan's age? He is early. Oh, he is fifties. Hmm. I just said intentionally fifties. You are in your early teens, right? Hmm. So fifty-one, fifty-two. That is early fifties. Hmm. Who? Yeah. Smart suits. Did you imagine wearing him a smart suit? Yeah. Dapper, you know what is dapper? Hmm. Another way of saying you are looking dapper means you are looking smart. That's true. Hmm. God bless you, Medavi. I think Medavi sneezed on the left hand side. So I have to repeat what is dapper. That was not dapper. <laughs> so what is dapper? We are looking dapper. Means what? Smart. Looking yeah, another smart. way of saying in simple words, you are looking smart. Dapper. Okay. So dapper bow ties called on him to respond to a question. Uh, 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 and he stumbled about in vain for the answer. So he's saying, uh, what? Uh, um, uh, you know that is called a stumbled about. Stumbling is like fumbling. Stumble means actually to fall. Okay, he stumbled about. Mm. Means he did not fall physically. It's just that he was stumbling. Means he was trying to. In his brain. Hmm. In his brain. And in vain. What in vain? What is in vain? Bekar me. Hmm. Huh? Bekar me. He tried, but he didn't get any answer. That's called as bekar me. Mm-hmm. Now, Mr. Morgan told him to pay attention to the geography inside the classroom. Yeah, dando, wa mat dando. That's what he must have shouted in English, right? Your teachers might be saying the same thing in school. Meeta, be what are you looking at? You remember Darshan from Sare Zameen Bird? Yeah. Huh? Hmm. That boy used to look out of out of the window. I don't know what you mean. I don't watch movies. Try watching movies. I do watch now. One or now. two in a month, not more. In India, I mm-hmm. never watch movies. Mm-hmm. Never, never. 
So your visualization so becomes know. very strong when you watch movies. Because, you know, Here your I mind do. is... Huh, good. It's a good Not habit. Not even Hindi. Uh-huh. That's okay. Not Any Hindi. language. You can watch Tamil, Orissa, French, Telugu, Kannada. As long as that it interests is. you. Yeah, What's it helps you to imagine. Yeah. So is a stiff mannered person in your life? Is there any stiff mannered person in your life? My teacher. Mm-hmm. One of my teachers. One of my, my teachers. Math teacher. mm-hmm. My math mm-hmm. teacher. He or she, someone, I don't know the gender literally, mm-hmm. is <laughs> very strict about things. Even um, if we do a little small mistake, if we open small up mistake. Chrome, Hmm. If, even if we open our Chromebooks, like when mm-hmm. he's talking, like mm-hmm. just to see the time or something, he's mm-hmm. like in like very ag- in he has mm-hmm. an edge in words, and he's like mm. close. Me. Me. close what are you doing? Mm. What are you close doing? Your Chromebook right now. Yeah. I don't like yeah. to talk over people. Yeah, quite aggressive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very particular. In this class, young man, you will concentrate your attention upon the earth, not upon the sky, Mr. Morgan said. Mm-hmm. All right. Yes, Anvi. Uh, who read it last? I don't remember. Who read last? May yeah. I read this? Later in the uh, schoolyard, during the mid-morning recess, Zebra stood near the tall fence. Looking out of the, out out at the street, listening to the noises behind him, his yes. school resting upon playing exuberantly, ex- exuberantly. Sorry, exuberantly. Oh, yeah. shouting and laughing with full voices. The joyous sounds went ringing through the quiet streets. Quiet street, next street. Most times. Zebra would stand alongside the basketball court or behind the wire screen at home plate and watch the games. That day, because his hand was so hurt, uh, hurting so badly, he stood behind the chain link fence of the schoolyard. Mm. That's how he happened to see the man. And that's how the man happened to see him. That's it. Okay. Did you imagine the adjectives add a lot of uh, information during the recess? When is your recess, Medavi? At what time? The three lectures, 8.30. 8:30. My, my recess is short. You what? know, in primary school, I had one hour lunch and 30 minutes recess. Uh-huh. I mean, what yes, time of the day? What time of the day? In primary school, it was uh, lunch was at 1.30. Uh-huh. And recess was at um around ten something. Yeah. Um, so see, here, here we have a ten minutes recess and thirty mm-hmm. minutes lunch. So okay. okay. In high school. See what happens now. Everybody is imagining their own recess time. For example, somebody has got a twelve o'clock school, and maybe at three o'clock there would be a recess time. So they would think so probably the afternoon. So the word mid morning. You understand what is mid morning? Early morning, mid morning, late afternoon, early afternoon. This is how you define the time. Okay. Can you define the time in 10 different ways? Write down in your notebook. When I meet you, when should we meet? Medavi, Sandhi. When will you study? When are you going out? Ah, So start from morning till late night. Early morning. Write down. Define the day. Early morning. So I'm coming to your place uh, in the morning. Like what time? Five o'clock. <gasps> That's quite early. So early morning. Mid morning. Noon. Afternoon. Late afternoon, early evening. Afternoon. Just put late in the evening too. Huh? Late afternoon. Yeah. Late afternoon. 
Oh, yeah, mid day. People call it as mid day. Mid day is a letter. Uh, sorry, not letter. Is a newspaper as well. Mid day. Hmm. Noon is called as mid day. No, early evening. When can we meet? Oh, we can meet in the early evening, late evening, late night. Late day. Hmm. Late, late day. Night. Yeah, slumber party. Mm hmm. Late night. Yeah, after mid day. Mm hmm. Mid day. Early so afternoon, late day. afternoon, late evening, early evening. Just put late evening. Okay. A lot of these phrases are formed, but not all phrases are used quite frequently. Okay. Late evening. I use this very often. Okay. Early morning, late night. So, Medavi, when did your parents, the grandparents, land? Late in the evening, early in the morning. Afternoon. Early morning, noon, afternoon, noon. Noon, 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 yeah, midday, moon. Noon. Okay. Then noon. zebra stood. Okay, in the schoolyard. Why there's a word tall next to the fence? Tall Why? The fence. Yeah. Tall fence. Yes, tall fence. Why there's a word called tall? It just adds to the imagination description yes imagination okay and why is he standing out alone and watching the other students play because if he cannot play because of his fractured right. arm right right oh. yes there's a reason see the words his schoolmates were racing about playing exuberantly <laughs> exuberantly of... i heard it a lot yeah what is exuberantly we did this the other day a lot of excitement yes. Quickly. Yeah. Okay. Shouting and laughing with full voices. The joyous sounds went ringing through the quiet street. Most times, zebra would stand alongside the basketball court or behind the wire screen at home plate and watch the games. Now it was it's the zebra's daily cool. routine, probably. Okay. He would stand. He would stand. Why? Because the story had happened already. Not he will stand. He would do that. What happened now? Now he is just waiting for recovery. No, no. It's the this. This is the past thing. What is happening now? Ah, in that we have to come to the conclusion. We'll understand. Now there's a, oh. a flashback. One year back, what all things happened? Okay. Now he was racing. But if one year back, he couldn't do that. Yeah? Lower the decibels. Sanvi, that's another way of saying keep quiet. Lower the decibels, please. Okay? <laughs> yes. Most times, Zebra would stand alongside. You know what is alongside? It's a very good preposition. Alongside. Okay? Next to it, that way. Basketball court or behind the wire screen at home plate and watch the game. That day, because his hand hurt so badly, okay, has your hand or leg or head or any time hurt so badly? Do you remember? Yes. Hurt so badly? Yes. Yeah. Sanvi, your My eyes are hurting simple. badly now? No. No? Sure? Yeah. Okay. Do you have specs now? Have you? Oh, yeah. All right. No, I have where? Um, where is the text? It's, I think it's difficult for you to read the fine text. Right? That's the reason you have to come closer to the screen and read. Yes? It's training your eyes. So are they hurting so badly? No, so not really. Okay. Right. My and, ankle hurts most times. Okay. He stood alone behind the chain link fence of the schoolyard. You understand chain link fence? Like yeah. those cross cross lines yeah. are there. My page, my page is the fine. wire fence. I'll show you if you don't know. I hope this works. Chain link. You must have seen this. Your compound, society compounds also at times have. Wait, what? Ma'am, we cannot. Your screen is hanged or something? See. No. Chain link fence. I'm just showing you the chain link fence. For your imagination, if you have not imagined it any time before. You see this chain link? 
Uh, oh, it's this. Oh, right. I uh, have it. Uh, uh, okay. A lot in the school. So you just stand behind this fence and used to keep watching them. That's how he happened to see the man and that's how the man happened to see him. What has happened to see? Why they did not write only see? That's how he saw the man. He happened to see. Galti se gitliya. Yeah. And he described it more. Yes, galti se mistake hua. Galti se mistake. So yeah, you know that song? Yeah, so galti se gitliya, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said that. It's perfect. <laughs> Like I happened to see something. Like yesterday, I saw a dog. I happened to see the dog. Means I was not looking at the dog or I was not searching for the dog. I happened to see a dog, and I remember the word "gaunt." And I thought of like clicking a picture and sending it out to you. "Gaunt" means like very thin, weak. Okay, so I happened to see him. Yes, happened to mean something which is not planned. So all of them are beautiful. Ah, nice. This was a street dog, probably you know, hungry for days. Yes. Then one minute. <laughs> yeah, one minute. Now read, Madhavi. Sanvi, right? Sanvi, sorry. Yeah, it's me. Wait, wait. Where? Oh yeah. One minute. One minute. The sides. Wait. One minute. The side street on which the school stood was strangely empty. without people or traffic without even any of the dogs that often roamed about the neighborhood vacant and silent vacant as if vacant uh, vacant and silent as if it were already in the full heat of summer red brick ranch house that belonged to mr morgan and the white clapboard two story house in which mr english lived mr english lived miss Mrs. english lived oh yeah sorry yeah and the other homes on the streets street with their columns columns front porches and their back patios huh? uh-huh. and the yeah. tall oaks All uh-huh. stood curiously in the warm golden light. Still of the in the warm, morning. yeah. See how descriptive it is. I'm going to take you to every phrase and make you feel the phrase. Okay, so Meera, when she reads these books, then she'll start reading these books with more emotion, and she'll probably take longer time to read the books. Not one day to just finish the book. Because what happens at times, Meera, we we read the story because the story is so interesting. You're just saying, oh, it's morning, ha. Huh? Then what happened? He was standing, ha. Huh? Then what happened? Ha. Huh? He went there, ha. Huh? Then what happened? Then he he went with an accident. Then what happened? So we are just reading the story. What happened? Okay, but we exactly uh, that yeah, happens to me. Yes, yes. We are least bothered. So I remember, like when I'm watching the um TV serial or movie. Okay, there are different family members in the house, right? Who are watching at the same time. I'm intensely looking at the scene, like what's happening, who is killing whom. who is really fighting who is talking who is calling home or whatever the scene is probably somebody else in my family is watching oh what colorful sari it is ah she also has the other sari oh nice earrings she has got big earrings i need to check these earrings in the market you understand what i'm saying observation is different mm. for different people okay men probably other family member would say oh this guy is from that ad so i'm like which ad which person i'm not looking at the person i'm just looking at the character that this is the father this is the son this is the villain this is the actor okay so this is how different people relate so when you're reading this and when you'll be writing this because medavi seems to be interested in the interested in the language in terms of reading so you should be reading it like this okay one minute the side street on which the school stood did you imagine side street side not the main street was strangely empty Da 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 da. That kind of a music would be there. Some strangely empty, without people or traffic. Tick 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 tick. So our heart will start beating. What happened? Without people or traffic, what happened suddenly? Yeah, without even any sight of the dogs. No dogs. 
that often roamed about, you know, roaming about, roaming around, roaming about the neighborhood, aros paros me. Okay? Everything was vacant, not vacant. Mm -hmm. Write down this word if you don't know. And silent. Okay? As if. I know that, but like. Uh, it were already in the full heat of summer. Okay? Is there full heat of summer in Australia okay. right now? Okay. No? No. no. The opposite okay. of that is yes. going to happen. Yes. But it is full heat of summer right now. Ah. Uh, so full heat of summer is. <laughs> Probably in the afternoon in India, we feel like that, the full heat of the summer. But otherwise, no. The red brick. Can you imagine the red brick? I have not seen any other brick, though. It's red brick. Ranch house. Ranch house is more like a farmhouse or a, you know, where an, even the uh, animals and all are kept. Okay, that's a ranch house. Okay, horse house and all. That belonged to Mr. Morgan and White Clapboard two-story house. Two-story house? Why two-story house? Why not E? In which Mrs. English lived. See the name. Mr. Morgan. Oh, yeah. yeah. And other homes on the street with their columned for front porches. That means what we call Angan, yes. front yard and all. English? Right. I'll show you the porches and patios. Oh. Okay. These are nothing but the spaces, outdoor spaces. Okay. Featured and agi, I say, posh and patios. Then the tall oaks. That means these are the trees, oak tree, oak wood. All stood curiously still in the warm golden light. Okay. What is warm golden light? Something which is not too harsh. Yeah. Mid-morning sun. Oh. Yeah. It's around just probably 9 or 10. Not too harsh. Did you understand? Yeah, Everything was so quiet and calm. Good. And Mrs. Morgan's house. Sorry, Mr. Morgan's house. Mrs. English's house. Okay. Medha is throwing her head back. She is really feeling sleepy or probably overburdened with a lot of English. No? Good. All right. 